Hi, I'm the adorable Nimbus. Super cute, super fluffy. You know the drill. And I, I, I'm sure you've noticed Hoyoverse up here. Huh. Yeah, well, that's because we're going to be watching some trailers today. That's right. I'm going to start doing react trailers to, to um, Honkai Star Rail content. <laughs> Why? Because I love Honkai Star Rail. I literally talk about it in like a lot of my videos. <laughs> and I just figured I kind of want to talk about it more. And the way I can do that is if I like watch the trailers and then just fan all over them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm so excited for like future content from the game and, and characters. And it's like, I'm sitting here thinking I should have just done this from the very start. I should have, should have done like trailers from the beginning, but like, I only just recently got motivated to try making new sort of content and like, Star Rail keeps popping out like bangers. Like every time a new trailer comes out, I'm just like, this is even better than the last one. So it's like, I, I gotta start, I gotta start talking about it. So we're gonna, there's a couple I have here that's for the new, the new 2.0 patch. Yes, yes, definitely. And so there's, um, I have four. I have this one, the Myriad Celestia trailer. A Night of Everflame scene 33, which is sort of introducing some, uh, well, introducing, I guess you could say the antagonists, I suppose, of the patch. So let's watch, shall we? I've seen this one before, but like, it's always fun to watch. <laughs> let's go. Yes, they're always just so great. Did I press play? I didn't press play. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for nearly two years. Anacone, planet of festivities. A cradle drowning in dreams, a haven for the cowardly. All right, so just before I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it regularly. So this is the Annihilation Gang. So they're they're like worshippers of Nanook, which is the Aeon of Destruction. So basically, they're bad guys. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. Blood and I just love the look of this. This is very Dark Souls looking, <laughs> right? It looks like a square, a uh, square soft game. So cool. And hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. They're cool. Dura, I set your form alight and taught you mastery of the blade. So basically the guy talking is Duke Inferno, and he's the leader of the Annihilation Gang. And these are like his what you his elite warriors, or I guess his adopted children that he's talking to, and there's four of them, so you're definitely gonna come across them when we like play the game, and they're probably gonna just be like real real crazy people. I mean you'd have to be in a, in a in a gang called the Annihilation Gang. And um when I'm not quite sure if they're gonna become playable characters, but they're definitely gonna be enemies for sure. Temper it with sulfur. The elation and let the performers' blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, Father. No. Katarina, I, I love the name Katarina. Your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. Ah, so cool. Look at the just. The visuals, Cost aren't they beautiful? Last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave not for the remembrance of I love the whole aesthetic that he's got going on. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Okay, let me just go back a second. <laughs> I know a lot of people were going crazy about these Hello. these characters. This is Katarina. <laughs> She's got a lovely personality. <laughs> nah, but seriously, look at the character design. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Anyway, like I, I'm a sucker for redheads. Not gonna lie. She's pretty cool, and I, I like her whole sort of like rough personality she's got going on, which is like a good contrast 
to the next one. Karina, this one. Pessimism might be wise. A lot of people comparing her. Oh my god. Comparing her to... Oh, do you remember Resident Evil? Oh, what's her name? That's it, Lady Dimitrescu? I mean, look at her. She looks just like her, except like anime form. She's also got like these this demon tail and these horns and a lot of people online were saying see where her horns are like placed like if you were to hypothetically kiss her you'd end up with like pierced cheeks because of her horns <laughs> lol but like even her hat like i swear this game's a meme like they take references from like other games and and like entertainment media and they put it in this game and it's just it's just fun to pick out like the references like when you play the game there are so many references to pop culture like even some of the characters are references themselves i swear she's a reference to lady dimitrescu <laughs> oh but let me know are you uh are you a katarina fan or or would you like anime Since Lady Dimitrescu instead? I like the whole Still, instrument thing. Ahead, father. What is our fallback if things become perilous? And that's creepy in itself too. Back. Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay and Cowardice. Relish Penacone, see for its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. If Duke Inferno ever flame Bancha. Alright, hold on. Yay, Star Rail. No, but like, the thing about the Annihilation Gang is I'm not overly terrified of them like i know they're the, the they're the antagonists and they're gonna cause trouble and it's gonna be like oh my god why are you doing these things and they'll be like a destruction aha uh -huh. but the thing is not even like they follow the destruction the aeon because there are these these godlike beings in the game called aeons and there are different paths different aeons take different paths and they're like different personalities la 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 Nanook is the Aeon of Destruction and basically he just wants to destroy everything, that's what he does. These guys follow him, but like even Nanook himself is like not even that interested in them. So they keep doing stuff to like try and get his attention and be like, hey look, we're destroying things. And then he's just like, okay, and... <laughs> so it makes them seem less threatening because they're just trying so hard to get his attention. He just does not care. <laughs> so it's like, how can I take them seriously when even the God of Destruction is just like, nah, I don't know them. All right. And so this one is the Penacone travel promotion cartoon, TikTok Come Dream With Us. I haven't seen this one actually at all, but the the uh, mascot for Penacone is like this clock that reminds me of a mixture of like Mickey Mouse and Miss Minutes from Loki. <laughs> You'll see in a second what I mean. Look at this old school design. Look at this. This is so retro. I'm not old. And also, I can't read those words. They're just in the language of Panacone. <laughs> it's just Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Panacone's most luxurious dreamscape. There's nothing you can't dream of. <laughs> I love this animation look at this it's so different from the last the last trailer's animation that looked real dark souls-esque right and now it's like old-timey cartoons it also reminds me of the bioshock cartoons in the game like when they're introducing the plasmids So cool, is that a mustache? I have no idea what any of that says. Shopping, probably. Oh, look at that! Oh, is that the Omni synthesizer? Ah, oh, cool. Dr. Edward, can you make me the richest man in the dreamscape? Imagine that! You can even buy dreams here! It's kind of messed up. Huh? 
<laughs> no love, buddy. He's got no cash. <laughs> what? It's like me when I'm trying to pull for a five star. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Hold on. What was it called? No, go back, buddy. Soul Glad? That's a bit weird. Come to my team park, where you'll enjoy bottomless Soul Glad and taste the legendary Impaco flavor. Okay, well that kind of sounds a bit sus, actually. Why is it called Soul Glad? Okay. <laughs> I don't trust it. It doesn't seem like something I want to ingest. Nah, I'm good, thanks. There'll probably be a mission or something involving drinking it. Clark Studios theme park. This is my stomping ground. There's endless options for entertainment. You might even run into my buddies. Who? Oh. Hamster ball night and honey. Okay. Neat. Tick tock. That concludes our tour. As you can see, Pentacony is the funnest destination in the universe. Oh, it's a rainbow. Then get moving. The land of dreams is waiting for you. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I love these trailers and how different the art styles look and can feel. All right. Like, oh, it's so cool. Like, if you watched the the first trailer and then you watched that trailer, it's like they're completely different and you wouldn't even know they're both from the same game. That's why I love it so much. Just something about Star Rail that's just amazing and, and fun and goofy and exciting and it's a gacha game and it's the best and it's just so cool all right this one's sweet dreams are oh, um this i think is a trailer for an event that's going to happen in the in the patch because like you'll have your main story stuff sometimes you'll have like character stories and then throughout a patch you'll have like small events sprinkled through some of them are, are bigger than others right so some of them will be small events like double drops or um uh what else like little simulation events like things that are just like smaller but you get some rewards out of them and they're pre pretty generous with them and then you'll have like big events which last like the whole patch or half the patch and it sort of has its own story in it and you get like lots of rewards and stuff and i think this one might be a trailer for one of the bigger events but it's it's just it's just goofy and fun it's so stupid. Have you heard of Tatalov, the Garbage King? See what I mean? Discuss the plan of festivities without mentioning the Watchmaker. He's our king, as Sambo. well as the manager of all the waste in this world. Fortune, fame, I can't. status. First of all, um, ah, wrong buttons. Futures with his bare hands. Hold on, let's still. Trash cans that are humble and suppresses those that are violent. <laughs> so stupid. There's this ongoing meme, I guess you could say, for the the main character. If you if you pick the the girl, it's her name's Stell. If you pick the the boy, his name is Kalis. I pick Kalis. But the girl we saw, that's Stell. So the main. There's this joke with the main character where, um. They like trash and trash cans, and it's basically a meme that they're a trash panda and basically just some stray raccoon that the, that the the passengers of the Express picked up. And they just, cause like you can search every trash can in a world for items and stuff. And basically the game makes fun of you for doing that. <laughs> and then now everyone just accepts the fact that the main character is essentially a trash raccoon and just dives in garbage <laughs> for treasures and shit. And it's funny. Like, it's funny and we're leaning into it in this event where basically you're the king of the trash. 
And I just think that's another reason why I love this game so much. We're just leaning into the meme. We're the king of trash. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Oh, but I think her name's Robin. She's so cute. I think she might be a playable However, character, I don't know. Since the thing from beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, Tatalov's eyes have been blinded. And that's just sad though. Uh no, go back for a sec. That's a meme in itself. <laughs> uh, where is it? <laughs> that's I the Dragon Ball meme. So you see what I'm talking about? To the trash bags. Then we'll be oh, I think I missed it. Uh, hold on, hold on, I wanna see it. Bags. No, I know the for trash peace, bags. Where's the meme? That one! No, go back! Hold on. There. That's it. Oh, mother... Just go back for me. Two seconds. Just, babe. There we go. That's the Yumcha meme. You know the one from Dragon Ball? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? The whole game is a meme. I think his name I is Sunday. I'm not 100% sure. To restore peace to the trash bags. Yep. Then we'll be able to launch a counterattack against that... That one is Acheron. King. And she's Black Swan. Uh, oh, they're both you, gorgeous. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. <laughs> it's just so time. stupid and goofy. The disgrace is too much to bear. We must force the Garbage King to mend his ways under the banner of Skyfire. Hey, wait! What kind of nonsense is this? It's God. It's it's nonsense. It's just an event. And it's so stupid fun, and I love it so much. It's trash. There's Sampo. It's just stupid fun and I love it. And I love that Sampo's there. Cause I, I he's, a, he's a fun character. And um, oh God, I only have one Sampo. I've been playing the game for nearly two years and I've only got myself one Sampo. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because this, this is a music video called White Knight. And you know how YouTube is with music. I don't know. So I, I'm probably gonna pause it every three seconds just to like point out a character and talk about them. But um, yeah, I just kind of turn it down a little bit. But the song itself is nice, and the, the the music video itself is so good. Like, let's just look at that. Oh my god, they're so suave. That's my adventuring. Thank you. Look at them go. Let's just look at their hats. I oh god, I hope I get a hat to wear in the goddamn game. Look at that shit. Damn. Okay, oh, that's it's just so smooth. Oh, look, uh, uh, the characters. Hold on, I want to talk about Sparkle. That's Sparkle. Look how cute she is. She's getting this talent, uh, her abilities, her skills. She increases skill points. Like, if she's in your team, she turns your five skill points into seven. She's like a quantum harmony. And oh my god, how good is that to have if you have a skill point hungry team? And like I've got Imbibed Lune and he eats all my skill points. So to have her in a team would be so good. And then also her ult can like recharge skill points. So you'll always have skill points. And look at her. Look how cute. And Black Swan. Look at how gorgeous she is. She's Nihility. So, oh. And she's so cute. Look at the way he looks at her. Oh, it's so good. Look at the quality of this. It's so smooth. Oh my god, that's why Aventurine. I'm pulling for him so hard. You, you don't even know. All my stellar jades. Damn. Just... Oh no, Himiko. Actually, a lot of people are worried that something might actually happen to Himiko. I hope not. Uh, and Sam, like... Damn! And Aaron! This is gonna be so cool! Sam's like that robot guy. Oh, it's gonna be so badass. And there's my Kalis. Oh, he's so fine. It's Sampo. So, so good. I'm pretty excited for Sam. Oh my god, it's so cool! I'm just fanning over that. Did you see that animation? My god, I love this. I love Star Rail so much. I'm so excited for this stuff. Like, oh my god. Hello there, Lord of the Rings, Lo-Fi, what's happening? Stop moving right now. Ah, go back. I don't know how to do things. Ah, oh, it's fine. Anyway, um, uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Lol, technical difficulties, I have them all the time. So now hopefully, oh god, you can just see why I love it so much. Isn't it awesome? Isn't the game awesome? You should play it. 
<laughs> hashtag not sponsored, hashtag wish they would, hashtag would love to be in the game someday, hashtag probably never gonna happen. Anyway, but isn't it just so cool? Like, why aren't you guys playing? You should 100% play. I am totally pulling for adventuring. You have no idea how excited I am. But he's not coming out until 2.1, which means I have to wait another month before I can even hope to pull for him, which is fine because it gives me a, a chance to save up my stellar jades as well as like materials that I can use to like level him up because like it's going to take a lot a lot even though I did really want to get sparkle too because oh god she seems like she'd really help out a team but I do have Tanya and she can sort of help with the skill problem uh, skill point problem too just not to the extent that sparkle can oh god there's just so many cool characters coming out but it also definitely shows you that um you're probably going to need these characters if you're going to like get through the content because content gets harder as you play through the game. And if you don't have those characters that can, you know, buff really well or give you those extra skill points or like deal damage to the high heavens, then you're probably not going to have a good time. Anyway, that was my first lot of trailers. From now on, whenever a new one comes out, I'm going to like as soon as it comes out, I'm going to do a video on it and cover it. And then just squee like a little girl because, oh my god. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you start playing so we can talk more about it. Um, I've forgotten my outro. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.